hello YouTube welcome back to Bison Workshop I'm Bob and today I was just running around here battening up stuff uh, putting things away getting the yard cleaned up which has been a task that needed to be done for a long time and to kind of give you guys an idea uh, of what the weather's like today is Wednesday and um, I see a little bit of wind up there in the trees so we're starting to get a little bit of wind it's not much it's just a little breeze so um, this is just to give you an idea of what the weather's like here on Wednesday before the uh, tornado now from what I've seen uh, it's shifted and we're probably just going to get a lot of flood, flood stuff, so we just hope and pray. But anyway, uh, this video is about how to recycle a microwave, which I'm sure there's probably a bunch of them online, but we're going to go in here in the shop. And i got a bunch of metal here from treadmills that I've got to take and put in the vise and cut down because I want to save, you know, this stock. Doesn't make nice little uh, brackets, so I'm going I'm to take them off. I'm going to save those two pieces. And that'll be four pieces of metal right there. And just cut up all that stuff and get it all in the straight uh, stock that can be used. And I had a trampoline that I just cut all the, um, uh, cut the band off around of it, throw the rest of it away because it had a big hole in it. And uh, I saved that because I'm going to take, when I'm bored, and sit here and cut all them rings off of there. If they're strong enough to handle a 300 pound person jumping on a trampoline, I'm pretty sure it can, uh, it can handle anything I need to put on it. You can use those for trailer hold downs, make brackets to put them, put them on your trailer, anything. Anyway, we got the microwave here. Now, slide you guys down here. I was going down to the dumpster and throw a bunch of stuff away, like the trampoline and stuff like that. And come across a box that had a picture of a microwave on the front of it. And I said, I wonder if they put the old one in there. Sure enough, they did. So, I got it. And I'm going to recycle some stuff out of it. The transformer, uh, the... Um, capacitor and switches, micro switches, pretty much uh, everything metal will be salvaged. Uh, I've even salvaged the, uh, the screen on the front of it. As you can see, that there is the exhaust fan for the shop. And these here is right in line with that so this screen keeps the big stuff from going in there like fuzz and stuff like that probably didn't need it but it looks good anyway so now we're going to go ahead and start taking this apart but we're going to get this thing out of it first so it ain't flopping all over the place This is trash. Uh, this year, I ain't never found a good reason for those simply because of that right there. If that wasn't on there, that'd make a nice plate. But it's got that thing on the bottom of it. Now, it could probably be used to put feet on it that is taller than these and use it for some kind of a dish to put on a stand to decorate or whatever. But that'll go in the trash. That, actually, you know what, between this, the motor, and that, you can make a uh, photography turnstile 
that spins while you take a video of your whatever you want to show off. That would be a pretty decent idea. Alright, so let me get my screwdriver and we'll go ahead and take this thing apart. Uh, don't tell me they put them stupid screws in them. I swear to God, I hate them freaking screws. I despise them. And I don't think I've got that bit. Now, I do have bits like that, but I don't think I have that size. And that drives me nuts when they do that stupid shit. Putting them damn bits on there like that. Yeah, I don't think I have one that size. Now, what we want to do here is we got two wires here that goes to the fan, the yellow one and the brown one. We want to keep those as long as we can. So we're going to separate all this. So now we've got a fan here, and a uh, nice fan if I, if I say so myself. These can be used in the exhaust fan in your bathroom, or your kitchen, uh, or your refrigerator, and vice versa. Alright, so now... Now we're going to take and unplug the capacitor, but do not touch the metal part. And make sure that you have a pair of pliers that don't have a hole in them. Unplug that. And then we're going to cross them over. And that will take the charge out of it. So now, we're going to go ahead and take this, uh, oh, I forgot the name of it. Now, these things here this white insulator right here. I don't think that this one's the one you have to worry about. It's the pink one that you have to worry about. They are very dangerous. Very dangerous. Do not breathe in or crack or make these things into dust and breathe it because it will kill you. So this thing has magnets in it that we can use. So you got two magnets in there, and we're going to take this apart and take them magnets out of there. So we're going to set that aside. Alright, so now we've got one, two, two micro switches in there that I can see. Alright, so now the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and take this transformer out. Alright, so now we've got our transformer in there, or out of it. And that's the same thing as these things right here that I used to make this magnet with that I haven't completed yet. I've still got a video working on this. So, we got another one of those. Alright, so now... We'll take the capacitor out. And 
and we got us a capacitor out of that. Now we got a light that we can use. A light bulb and a socket. And you just lift these tabs. Let that thing right out of there, and this can be mounted on anything. In fact, you might even want to keep the bracket, keep it on the bracket, bend that back over, and mount the bracket for something. And I do need to put a light on my mill, but I don't know if this is the kind of light I want to use. Alright, so we got that. Now we've got to get the switches out. This has got the micro switches on it. And there's actually three micro switches. So we can just take and cut these little plastic tabs off, break them off, once they don't flop up in your eye like that one's trying to do. And you got one micro switch, two micro switch, and the third micro switch. We can just unplug those, but they're on there awful tight for some reason. They must have a latch on them. And the rest of that is trash. Alright. So now we've got the uh, power, wa power wire for the motor that's inside of it. So we'll cl clip that. And now we'll take the little circuit board off. This year will go straight in the trash. Alright, now I'm going to take the panel off. Actually, just go ahead and take this door off. Alright, I don't see anything here of any use. This will go in the dumpster. Alright, so now Got a plastic thing that's cardboard or whatever that is. Uh, looks to me like the paint's cooked in there. Alright, so now let's take the rest of these screws out. And this is a, let's see here, well it doesn't say, oh it probably does right there, but I think that thing's only a three horsepower, or not three horsepower, three horsepower, <laughs> uh, three rev revolutions a minute I think something like that that runs really slow alright so now we've got one more piece of plastic to take off of it and that's the front piece here and the rest of that is scrap metal so now we can put this in the metal pile and I'll go do that right this second All right, so now we're going to take this thing apart
and you pop the top off of it. Then you got a little brass screen. Then you got this washer. that pops off and then you've got your magnet alright so now we got that in there and what we're going to do so we're going to clip that wire, and we're going to clip this wire, and then this will all pull right out. So now we're just take and clip that, right there, and right there. Got to bend them out of the way. Well, it don't want to bend out of the way. Now yeah, that thing should just pop right up out of there. So now we got that magnet. Now the rest of this is pretty much trash. This trash, more metal for the metal pile, metal pile, metal pile, metal pile, magnets, got two magnets, metal pile, trash, trash. Three micro switches, a light and a socket, a capacitor, a little three revolutions per minute motor, transformer, a fan. A bunch of screws, a fuse, a bunch of wire that's trash, alright so we got a bunch of screws, a bunch of zip ties that are trash, a spring, couple little feet, drill a hole. I got a bunch of these that have come off of other microwaves. So that's how you recycle. Now I don't know about this thing right here. Bins that these things are dangerous. I don't know if that one is. I like to have that aluminum off of there but I'm not going to risk. This, this aluminum is not worth risking health problems so or death so this part here will be thrown in the trash so there you have everything useful out of a microwave and every microwave has the same stuff so these here you can make magnets out of them these here you can this fan you can use to cool things this motor can be used for a turn turntable to for like a photography uh, studio that likes to video their stuff spinning on a turntable uh, capacitor 
used for motors and stuff like that. Uh, three micro switches. And you got everything that uh, that you can get out of a microwave that can be useful. And then you got some metal, uh, scrap metal. So that's how I scrap out a microwave. Now there is another little piece of metal. I got y'all turned third around there. Uh, there is one more piece of metal in it that you could get out of it. And that's in this door, which is that piece right there. But it's really not worth the, the aggravation it takes to get that off of there. So I just trash that piece. And uh, the next video that I think I'm going to do is on my Grizzly Mill. We're going to stop that head from twisting on me. Uh, I've had just about enough of that bullshit. Uh, that's the second time that thing's ruined a piece of my work. Now, it's just uh, a good thing it didn't me mess that bracket up or break the damn gear up inside there. Uh, yeah, that, that thing's going to be... I'm going to stop that bullshit. Uh, I never need to turn my head. I'll never use it for that. Uh, if I need to mill a piece at an angle, I'll clamp it up in the clamp at an angle. And if I can't clamp it a, at an angle, it don't get cut as an angle. I'll use the grinder just like the old-fashioned way. Uh, I'm not afraid to do the old-fashioned way of milling. I did it all my life up until about four years ago or three years ago when I started Bison Workshop. I never had a meal and I did the same exact work that I do today except that meal made it a little easier. Uh, the lathe made it a little easier. When I needed to uh, turn a piece of metal, I put it in my drill if I could get it in my drill and I used a grinder while it was spinning. You know, I, I'm no stranger to doing milling work the old fashioned way with little to no tools, files, grinders, uh, hacksaw, uh, even the bandsaw is a luxury for me today. Yeah, I used to do things with a hacksaw and a grinder. <laughs> so, before anybody gets on me about my head not being able to do angles, oh, well that's important, well, that's important for a meal. It ain't important. Get over it. <laughs> You know who I'm talking to, too. <laughs> I'm just picking on somebody. He knows who he's pick, being picked on. But, uh, anyway, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And you guys have a good one. And stay safe. Later.